It was developed to determine holes under the ice in the Antarctic and Greenland. I'm currently using it for train classification. So we want to see if we drive over a train, uh, we can determine what kind of train it was. It enables us to get 3D models of real world objects. Uh, so if I can have a volunteer, or maybe all of you, put your hand right on this map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 3D laser to kind of scan all of them to get a 3D model. This is a really quick scan, but hopefully it'll work. You can see on the screen what it's currently looking at. There's red, dot, there's red lines. I don't want to see. So those are your hands. So you control the green dot, and the goal is, is to get to the white dot. Um, and the red dots are enemies, you, want, you don't want to touch them, you can sort of move it around. Um, yeah, so you can give it a try. So how do you get the green up there? So you just tilt it. Oh, it's tilt, okay. Yeah. So about 45 degrees will get you to move in whichever direction you want to go. Um, Almost, very close. 